Today's project will be to replace the turn signal switch inside the steering column. This is a non-tilt steering column 1964 Chrysler. There's three pieces to a steering column. We had to take these all apart because they had to get painted. This is the top section which has the bearing in it. There's a, this piece is just the dress-up piece that goes below. And the two of them fit on the long steering column, which we're going to have to be careful with because we've just had it painted. But back to the turn signal. 64, they use uh, the old style, you might call it turn signal wand. You see the raised portion there? That fits into the detent that you see here. To activate the switch. Uh, it might have been 65, I think it was 65, 66. The turn signal levers don't have the detent because they changed the method of attachment here. And as you can see, this poor little turn signal lever has been through the mill. Fortunately, I was able to purchase a nice one. It was not easy to find because apparently this corrosion that you see there is common. So now to continue with the installation of the turn signal switch. Here are the two pieces screwed together. You see down in there are two Phillips head screws. They have to be installed now because the turn signal will cover up access to the one or two of those screws. So here's our new turn signal switch taken out of the package. I compared it with the old switch. We have the same number of wires, seven. And I checked the wires for length and this is slightly longer, which means I shouldn't have any trouble getting things to fit. This one also has the pin or bullet type terminals on the end of it, which is what we need because the receiver is set up for pin types. So now the switch goes into the housing. There are three screws and a metal plate to retain it. Assembling the three pieces is a little bit tricky. These slots, there's one there and there's one there. They retain the bearing to the jacket. Do you see this? These two flathead screw deals. Well, they catch here and here, but first you have to get the dust jacket on the column jacket because you won't be able to get it on otherwise. With the top piece securely fastened to the jacket, we'll now install, we'll start to install the turn signal switch. The dust cover is down here and we're going to leave it off so that we can start the wires uh, running into the column. Otherwise you'll see it'll be difficult for access.
So here we have the switch loosely positioned in the top plate and the wires run down and through. All seven wires nice ready to go. Now we'll secure the plate and add the turn signal lever. The plate's installed, the turn signal is tightened, and you can see in this view how the one Phillips head screw for the dust cover here about the 10 o'clock position is blocked by the plate. So you couldn't get at it to tighten the, the dust cover now.